and uh, they suspect that something is, is wrong, but they clearly cannot say what it is. Right, uh, Bansi. Also, what are the authorities in the U.S. saying? Uh, the ones who fished out uh, Sachin's body, have they stated that it looks like there could be uh, some sort of foul play, that it could even be murder? Well, Akshita, uh, at the point, nothing can be ruled out. We cannot rule out murder, we cannot rule out foul play uh, at the moment because uh, the matter is under investigation. Uh, the police autopsy will really say it all because uh, was he dead before he fell into the river? What was the cause of the death? Uh, was he given something? Was he administered something? Uh, were, were there marks on his body? All this will indicate uh, the kind of death that he suffered. But this much is clear that uh, Sachin Rayapa, who uh, has been in the U.S., who is scheduled to return next month, uh, is no longer there and uh, his body uh, is, is under autopsy. Uh, if everything goes well, then the authorities, after the autopsy, if the family gives their consent, then they will bring the body back to India. Right, uh, Bansi, thank you so much for joining us with uh, all those details. But uh, unfortunately, yet another Bengaluru boy, uh, Sachin Rayapa, found dead there. Uh, we understand that he did go missing uh, quite some time back. The company with which he worked, uh, Ernst & Young, went ahead and filed a complaint. Uh, and on Friday, his body was found in the Mississippi River. <laughs> Moving on to the big news of the day, TRS President K. Chandrasekhar Rao today took charge as the first Chief Minister of the newest and the 29th state of the country. He was formally sworn in as the Chief Minister at a glittering ceremony held in the precincts of Raj Bhavan in Hyderabad. Take a look. And the new state is born. Telangana, which weathered a 60-year-old tumultuous and emotional-filled struggle for statehood, formally came into being as the new state today. The fulfillment of the June 2nd appointed day was marked with widespread revelry across the 10 districts of the new state, including its bejeweled capital, Hyderabad. Thousands streaming into the streets welcomed the arrival of the moment of truth post-midnight. Overflowing emotions of joy and accomplishment found their manifestation in the celebrations that lasted long till early morning. And as sunshine became brighter, the frenzied euphoria of the historic moment was quickly replaced by a flurry of ceremonies and festivities, beginning with the coronation of KCR. Basking in the separate Telangana success, the diminutive TRS chief began his most memorable day by paying respects to the Telangana martyrs at a memorial in Hyderabad. The first ever popular government headed by KCR comprised a good sprinkling of experience and youthful exuberance. Keeping one of his promises, the TRS chief gave the deputy chief minister status to two of his trusted ministerial colleagues, Mahmood Ali and Rajaya. In the subsequent allocation of portfolios, Ali was trusted with the revenue ministry while Rajaya was given the responsibility of health and medical education. Other key members of his small cabinet are Naini Narasimha Reddy receiving the crucial home ministry Itela Rajender, who bagged the key finance portfolio, KCR's nephew Harish Rao will look after major irrigation, KCR's son K. Taraka Rama Rao has been entrusted with IT and heavy industries, Padma Rao has been given excise ministry, Pocharam Srinivas Reddy, who was given housing and Jagadishwar Reddy armed with the Panchayat Raj department. The first ever Telangana cabinet, however, failed to have a woman in its midst. The TRS sources are confident that their leader would be giving due representation to the fairer sex in the subsequent expansions of the Council of Ministers. The KCR swearing in is an event worth remembering for long, but there was no sight of any central leaders at the do. The TRS appear to have consciously kept out the national leaders, especially those from the NDA coalition. Telangana Rasta Mukhyamantriga, Na Kartavialan Sedato, Antakarana Shudido, Iroistanani, Bayamgani, Pakshapatangani, Ragadveshalvan, Lekunda, 
The TRS government also failing to extend a formal invite to TDP chief and chief minister designate of the residuary on the Pradesh, Chandra Babu Naidu, kicked up a mini controversy. While the TRS sources claimed that an invite had been forwarded through the General Administration Department, the TDP leaders fumed at the TRS government, glossing over basic courtesy. Soon after assuming his coveted position in the newly formed state, Governor ESL Narasimhan hosted a high tea for the new team that has a mountainous task ahead in building Telangana as an independent state. KCR and his team later headed straight to the parade grounds where they presided over a guard of honour and a slew of festivities organised to commemorate the Telangana Formation Day. First CM promises a plenty. Speaking on the occasion, the new chief minister of the new estate kept his focus firmly on development and welfare. He showered a slew of sobs for the general public and the state government employees. Pay scales on par with the central government employees, a Telangana formation day increment and health cards were some of those he promised to implement at the earliest for the employees. KCR vowed to develop his dream project of housing for the weaker sections as a model scheme for the entire country. He also outlined his commitment to transform the region as the Green Bull of India, making it the most sought after for all types of seeds. He reiterated his promises to weave off farm loans of up to 1 lakh rupees and mitigate the power crisis at the earliest and ensure sufficient irrigation water from Godavari and Krishna rivers. The Telangana chief minister was later accorded a rousing red carpet welcome by the government employees at the secretariat. Speaking on his first visit after assuming office, he promised to come up with an employee-friendly regime during the next five years. Durga Prasad for News 9, Hyderabad. And well, the newly formed state of Telangana is filled with happiness. But the path of growth and development in the region is not an easy one. It is filled with umpteen roadblocks and hurdles that Team KCR will have to tackle. Here's a report on the same. The age-old saga of the United Andhra Pradesh came to an end today with the birth of Telangana. Forgetting all about the birth pangs, the region burst into celebrations. But what the newly born state, its chief minister and the people cannot forget are the challenges that lie ahead post the delivery. Teacup brims with challenges. Telangana might look prosperous compared to Simandra with Hyderabad within its boundary, but that doesn't mean Telangana will not have to go through postpartum period. With its teacup filled with happiness, it has another cup filled with challenges as well. On top of the list is water. The reason being, though both River Krishna and River Godavari flow through Telangana, a major portion of the share is given to the region of Rayalaseema. It is also being said that Telangana might get only partial control over both the rivers. Under such conditions, Telangana might not be self-sufficient in terms of water for irrigation. Hence, the state will have to either find an alternative or seek more for its sustenance from the centre. Power crisis Power is a key area for the new state, which is tipped to face a shortfall of close to 5,000 megawatts. Though the chief minister plans to seek assistance, the APERC has released a series of suggestions to overcome the impending crisis. Primarily, the Energy Regulatory Commission will have to reorganize and restructure in line with the provisions of the Andhra Pradesh State Reorganization Act. Education Hyderabad is considered as the hub of education, but despite several institutes in the region, the literacy rate in Telangana is the lowest. The newly formed Telangana will have to deal with the literacy rate first and educate its citizens so that they can be self-sufficient. The Telangana government will also have to look into revamping the educational institutions. Industrial growth Across the world, the prosperity of a region is mainly judged by its development and growth and more so, industrial growth. While Hyderabad is booming with development, the same cannot be stated about the region of Telangana. One close look and one would realise that the government of Andhra Pradesh has not set any industry outside Hyderabad. This means the newly elected government will have to look into the overall industrial growth of the region and not limit it to Hyderabad alone. Employment 
KCR's government will also have to look into serious employment issues. Here the problem is not about jobs, the problem is many from Telangana are not employed with the government. As per the statistics, there are 15 lakh jobs in the government and the government controlled sectors in Telangana. Ideally, 40% or 6 lakh jobs should have gone to the people of the region. But in reality, just 3 lakh jobs have been provided. Even in the state secretariat, out of the 5,000 employees, only 120 are from Telangana. So the government will have to look into the uniform distribution of jobs, primarily in the government sector. Tourism it's a mammoth task ahead of the tourism department in the state of Telangana. The reason being, Telangana has always lagged in the tourism sector when compared to Simandra. Out of the nearly 20.5 crore tourists arriving in 2012 in Andhra Pradesh, Simandra played host to 11.5 crore tourists. The same trend continued in 2013 as well. So the Telangana Tourism Development Corporation that has started working from today is looking into boosting the tourism. Naxal Infestation it is a known fact that the Telangana region is prone to Naxal attacks as it shares the border with Chhattisgarh. Due to this, the brand Hyderabad can be affected. Though not high on the agenda, the government will have to concentrate on tackling this issue at hand. Well, on taking oath as the first chief minister of Telangana, KCR has promised a plenty to his people. But what lies ahead of them is a mammoth task. But if the heads of newly formed state and yet to be formed state of Simandra work in the spirit of give and take, the issues might prove to be less challenging than what they seem to be now. A News 9 report.